Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday on this March 20th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Ken's bored, it looks like. <laughs> I guess it's a little boring this morning. Didn't see too much out there. A couple of nice little shorts, everything else. Good to see you, Lawrence. Mike, good to see you. Don, everybody. All right, good, good. Mary, all right, good, good. All right. Quiet week so far. Eh, you know what? Listen, you got to put in your time. You got to put in your time. It, it, you know, when you go out there and you trade everybody, it's not, you know, it's not always rainbows and puppy dogs every day, you know, but uh, I think sometimes people get a little more. Some of us get a little spoiled when we have some of those big winners. But you know what? What is what it is. And uh, you got to put in your time. That's what it comes down to. So anyway, there are a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. We're going to check them out a little bit. Um, you know, you got classes that are starting this week. Everybody knows that we got classes, uh, you know, you got the phase one, phase two and the phase three that are starting. So hopefully everybody's been enjoying those classes, you know, and going from there, you know, remember guys, remember what the most important thing, what we do here, we don't teach you how to make money. That's what you do in this room. We teach you how to stop losing money. So, you know, everyone, you know, when, you, when you're out there trading together, this is a team effort. That's why we're in this room. We're here to work together, and you guys are trained that way, and you can see how successful you are. Remember, it's being part of a team that makes you successful, not just a person that teaches you to be successful. Anyone could, you know, sell you 800 hours of videos, but remember, that's not going to make you money, all right? You got to be part of a good team, and you got to know how to play, play with the game. Now, there are a couple of things that are moving this morning, so let me just get right into it. First of all, um, there's this one stock. I, I wanted to bring up this one, the NOMD. This one looks pretty good. I mean, you know, we're always focused on going long, right? And, you know, there's time to time that you can go short. You know, and I know it's not the American dream. People always think about, ah, let, let, let's short. Guys, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. You know, if, if you're doing your journals like we, we that you taught in class, and if you start analyzing what you're supposed to do at the end of the month, because remember, there's two different journals that we give you. There's one for a daily journal, and there's one for a monthly journal. And if you start analyzing how many shorts you do, it's probably less than 10%. So out of, and that's that's a lot. You know, so think about 90% of your trades are always focusing on going long, not going short. So, you know, listen, there's a lot of money to be made short. So go out there and, and do as much as you can. Well, like I said, Ken, you've been here for a long, you've been here for a while. So, you know, but in the beginning, you never really thought of it. But um, don't be afraid. Shorting is a lot of fun. And let me tell you, you just got to get into that mentality. And, the, and, and that's really the tip of the day. I want to kind of leave everybody off with it is that, um, start focusing on doing some more shorts and you'll do, and trust me, you'll do a lot better. So there are a couple of stocks. Um, I do want to talk about that are moving and go. So you got the S O L O that one is moving this morning. And you know what? There are a lot of like, uh, inexpensive stocks that are moving this morning, but I don't know. There's some reason they're, they kind of backed off. So I don't know what happened here. But the SOLO, you could see this one gapped up a little nicely. It moved okay yesterday. A lot of you remember the stock we traded it about a month ago. It went from like a dollar to seven dollars. And, you know, it had a really good move. So we know the stock can move. So that's one of the big things. Not the greatest iceberg orders out there. I'm looking at the matrix. That's kind of like turning me off right now. So when it comes to level three, uh, you know, I want to see how that opens up. But pre-market really has not um, got me really that excited other than that we traded it not too long ago. We did pretty well on it. Here's another one uh, that's making a little bit of a move, this MTFB trade. This one right here does have a lot more on the level three. It is moving a little bit. It backed off. It was at like, two, it was almost at $3. It dropped to 220 You could see that here's a stock that got crushed Went from eleven down to three, down to a dollar. Just literally got decimated. But um, but you know what? Maybe there's a little bottom fish going on right now. Great orders. I mean, the stock trade already two point two million shares. It's up fifty four percent. So that one looks pretty good right there. Another one, Gig G I G, is another one that's moving uh pretty nicely this morning. You could see it right here that uh, whenever she comes up. I have my internet's running slow. Actually, that's not the one I, was, I wanted to talk about. That, 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 I thought, no, no, that's not the one. I'm sorry. Take that one. Scratch that one out. That one. 
FCSC. That's the one I want to look at right here. GLG, yeah. That, GLG. I'm going to bring that up in a minute. So FC, FCSC, here's another one. It's, you know, it's up 13%. It's, it's an, you know, 125,000 shares is pretty decent. Um, she's not a fast mover. You could see that she's gapped up a little bit, a little bit on the expense, inexpensive side. You know, remember that there are different levels of traders in here, you know, and when you go through the lessons, you know, you need to know if you're a level one trader, two, three, four, or five. Five is the highest. But, you know, this is, looks like pretty much like a level one stock. So for some of you that... I'm not ready to take or not at that next level. This might be the, the right one for you. Uh, let me just wait. Okay, so the GLG right here. Here's, here's the stock I was talking about earlier. So it gapped up pretty big yesterday after hours. It ran from 2 to $4, and then she just kind of just reversed. She's still up 43%. She was up a lot higher there, but you could see that she is testing some major resistance levels right around here and that's one of the reasons why she's backing off so keep an eye on those orders right there if you scroll up you can see his orders everywhere and um looks like there's more here earlier than later but a lot of hundreds not a lot of buyers a lot more sellers out there when i'm looking there on the level three so if it holds here around the 260 maybe get a little bit of a bounce there but that's where i'm kind of focusing on deum is another one that's moving a lot of you guys remember this stock. We've traded it many of times. It's um, come up. So this one, okay, come on, guys. My system runs so slow. I don't know what's going on with my internet. So um, the T E U uh, the T E U M. Here's a stock that we've traded it. It's a very inexpensive stock. It's got a good spread, moving pretty nicely. Have to reboot. Yeah, I know that. that this, I keep getting this alert on my computer. It says my Windows 10 has got to be updated. So that's probably what's happening. So the TUM is moving pretty nicely. Another little cheap little stock. Not terrible. Everyone here can afford to trade that one. Uh, this stock has been moving pretty nicely Not you know for the last couple of days from 350 to 550. NVRO, another one. This one looks a little bit better, the NVRO. Only issue with this one, guys, is that you got to be a little bit more – you got to be – Probably a three, a level three trader to trade this stock right here. But this stock was an $85 stock. Um, this stock had a hell of a ricochet right here. Went from 65 down to 40 and came right back. Some of you probably remember. You should go check on your journals if you were if you uh, back then if you traded it. But uh, but stock's breaking a little bit higher. It's moving. Not usually uh, our forte as a 50, you know, a, a $56 stock. But you know, it is moving. And then the other one also expensive too, SMAR. Now, this one right here is breaking all-time highs. This one I like a lot. It's, um, it's expensive, you know, but she's moving up pretty nicely. She made a nice little push earlier so far. She came out with some good news after hours right there. You could see it how it went from uh, 43 all the way to about 49. It's breaking all-time highs right there. So the stock also is a pretty good one. Um, AMD is another one. Um, AMD's been doing pretty well lately, AMD. I know that when we have uh, Microns coming out after the, after hours today, I mean, the earnings are coming out. But AMD, I mean, this one moved pretty nicely, too. I kind of like the AMD trade, too. It's kind of flat right here, but just be careful. Don't let this AMD fool you. This thing got some nasty shakes. And, you know, you know Josh is a big fan of AMD. He traded it many times, but this one... Be very, very careful on this one right here. Now, there are a couple of shorts right here I do want to point out. Uh, Ben's already made, made money on that pop up 24 cents already on that MTFB. All right. Let's give him a round of applause. Already jumping the ship on that. But he already jumped, jumped off ship. <laughs> You're more than welcome, Lita. Good work. All right, so a couple of shorts I want to keep an eye on right here. You can see this TME. This stock took a big hit after hours, went from 19 down to 17. You could see yesterday's uh, close where the low was right around that 17. It's got big, big support levels right there. You could see we already have some orders out there looking to be bought. Big orders, 1,400, 3,400. 3, not the biggest orders, not like the five, ten thousands that we're looking for, but it does got support levels there, and if it does break that 17, Say bye-bye on that one, too. N-O-M-D. 
That one's also coming down, too. I'm going to also talk about the FedEx. FedEx is getting pretty crushed, too, by the way. I don't know what the hell's going on. FedEx is taking a big hit, but you know we're not going to be trading FedEx right there. But the uh, NOMD right here, another stock that is, uh, if it's on your short list, 600,000 shares already. I mean, not 600,000. I'm sorry about that. You can see how it's trending down. Waiting for it to come up. Uh, 1.2 million shares already traded. Got a lot of orders on all over on the level three. So that one also, you know, re remember what we talked about yesterday regarding about stocks that are down. Remember when, and this is really not down a lot, but we, we, you know, we see stocks down 50, 75%. And, and most of those stocks are pharmaceutical stocks. Just remember very importantly that when we trade stocks that are pharmaceutical stocks and they're down that big, remember the tip. They never come back, okay? They never, ever come back. You know, when they get crushed, they get crushed for a reason. And just be very careful with the uh, FDX. I know, I know Federal, uh, FedEx uh, came out with earnings. You always could tell when it's earnings because you see that big drop off. But you can see the, 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 the word was probably out early in the day. You probably could have got a really nice short um, watching. But listen, we're not trading $182 stock. But this might spill over into... Other stocks that are in or that are in the shipping business it could be UPS. It could be you know any of those other shipping stocks. But you know FedEx obviously not doing too well. You could see it there. Um, now everybody's all doing pretty well on the MTFB trade. Listen, all about risk to reward. You know, look at that. When we called it earlier at nine o'clock this morning at two forty, look, it went to two eighty. Some of you guys could be done right now, just taking. Like Craig says, he's up to 38 cents. 38 cents on 1,000 shares, 380 bucks. Where are you going to make that, right? <laughs> right, Craig? Well, there's only one other place here. <laughs> it's funny, you know, we have a lot of people that come in here, a lot of professionals, engineers, you know, um, business owners, real estate guys, accountants, doctors, and you know who I'm talking about. And uh, people just don't realize what a what a – you know, this is right up your alley. What a great job this is. And uh, you know what? You don't got to make a lot to make it work. And, ph and ph pharmacists too, Uber drivers, everybody. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Border control people, cowboys. How many more? I said engineers. <laughs> I said engineers. So um, just remember, rocket scientists. Yeah, we got a couple of those in here. We got a couple of NASA people who worked at NASA. NASA, not Nassau. Nassau's the county I'm, duh. <laughs> Teachers, there you go. Any more? Anyone else? I hope I didn't forget everyone. Bankers, psychologists, Boeing engineers, there you go. Evil geniuses, programmers, rednecks, <laughs> Yankees, right? A little bit of everything. But remember, we're all one, we're all one party, and that's the trading party. So we're all here to make money. There you go. So um, good luck, guys, today. Happy trading. And uh, listen, I know we have a lot of trial members, and we got another event that's coming up. Just keep in mind, everybody, that uh, we're going to get a new list. You know, once the market opens up, we always find something new, so not all these stocks move. So if you're new here to CTU, just look, listen, and learn. And fellow traders, remember our motto, see something, say something. All right, good luck, everyone. Happy trading.